Pero ahí no hay un chasón. Ya ya. Ya ya. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day. Um, am I? Okay. Okay. So uh, anyway, I am Dr. Siti. Um, today I would like to share with you PhD tips on uh, how to uh, on qualitative analysis. Okay, very simple on qualitative analysis. Okay. Um, some students, they get confused. Some PhD student or PhD candidate, they thought that when they do analysis, for example, uh, when they analyze an interview transcript or interview transcript, they analyze any qualitative data, for example, qualitative data, uh, example, interview transcript, simply the student uh, or the candidate actually do, uh, you know, the interview transcript, they go through, they run through the transcript, and then they simply summarize and conclude. Okay, so that is the wrong way to do. Okay, why is it wrong? Because you need to remember, although we have, we deploy a qualitative approach, we must remember there must be a procedure, a protocol or SOP, standard operations procedure. There must be a protocol or procedure that is very structured and transparent. That shows how the analysis has been done how the process of analysis has been taken place. This is important. It's not as easy as summarize and conclude. That is wrong. Okay. That will be, if you do this, if you do that, if you do just as summarize and conclude, uh, people will, or your panel or reader can easily argue. Your result could be very weak because it's not properly structured and it's not, it doesn't have undergo um, certain protocol or specific SOP. Why? Because you need to remember uh, one, it's not one example, one, um, uh, there are two ways how we can achieve reliability in qualitative research. One is we achieve it uh, theoretical transparency. Second is we achieve protocol transparency. So therefore, it is important to show how the process of analysis is being done. That is why you need to understand. You need to understand and um, show the process of analysis. What technique you use to analyze? What method you use to analyze? Is it content analysis? Is how what analytical strategies that you use? How you achieve this thematic distinction, for example. So this process need to be shown in a flow, to be structured, to have a protocol that is transparent, transparent, transparent means very clear so others can replicate and understand how you analyze it. Okay, so this is important. So we cannot, we must not put ourselves or assume that, oh, I do qualitative, it's easy, it's just interview, summarize and conclude. No, don't. Okay, you must know what technique what, you, what technique you're going to use, for example, content analysis, either word-based or code-based, with uh, what analytical strategies, what analytical strategies that being used to actually uh, analyze the content word-based, okay? So you need to actually show this process, okay? Because this is our formula. If you are a quantitative researcher, you might have a certain statistical formula. So we, we do have formula. Formula is to show that we are transparent in doing research. So what is our formula? By having this clear, specific, structured SOP or protocol. So you want to know more? You can buy my book. <laughs> oh, because there is too, too long for me to, because I just finished a uh, class on uh, how to do uh, analysis using animal software. So that's all tips on qualitative analysis. I hope it's helped. If you think it's help others, please share this video to your friends. Okay? Assalamualaikum. Until next time.